Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's MetaphysicalServices.com. Last week I got a lot of really great suggestions about what to do for my giveaway, which happened last week. And one of the amazing suggestions that I got was to make a video for Leos who feel they have lost their roar, right? So today I'm making a video about how to realign with your passion, how to realign with your fire, how to get your vitality back. And this is not just for Leos, this is for anybody, but it is dealing with that extroverted, fiery, passionate, creative kind of energy. So the way that this spell came to me was through a meditation that I did, which was really more of um, a guided journey. Uh, and in this guided journey, I journeyed into my own body, into my womb to connect with my womb goddess. And what I saw there was a, a pretty wild goddess. She was, she had long, um, wild, unkempt hair. She was dancing around a fire naked. She was older. Uh, she had um, like a saber or a sword and she was shrieking and she was laughing hysterically and she was just letting herself be primal and wild and really attuned with nature and really attuned with that fire. And the message that I received was to get back in touch or to be sure I remain strongly in touch with that fiery, primal goddess within me with that wild woman archetype, right? Let us not forget the wild woman archetype. So the spell that I created for myself, which I performed around Beltane, was to remind me and to connect me and to keep me in tune with my wild woman archetype. So for this spell, which can easily be translated to getting back your fire, um, this spell, you will need a figure candle to represent yourself. I recommend that your figure candle is in orange, red, or yellow, like this. We're dealing with fiery, passionate energies. You will, you can also use one of those um, little figure candles, like a little beeswax candle in the shape of a poppet or a doll baby, or you can use a plain stick candle. You can use anything to represent yourself. You'll want to carve that candle with your personal details, your full name and your date of birth, and then carve it with the attributes or the energies that we're, we're really seeking here, like fire, passion, creativity, whatever it may be. And as you are carving this candle, you are charging this candle with your intentions, you're charging this candle with your energy. So be really um, focusing on fiery, passionate, strong vitality, vitality and vibrancy and that kind of just alive, alert, feeling that we have when we're connected with and submerged with the world around us, especially in nature or when making art or when dancing, things of this nature. And after you have your candle carved, you're going to want to dress it with an oil. And I recommend a fiery love oil, something uh, that has cinnamon in it, something that's aligned with energies of fire, something that really uh, draws upon passion. And the reason I'm recommending a love oil is because this is really about self love. So if you don't have a specific blend in mind or you aren't sure um, what you would like to use, you can always use a cinnamon essential oil and just put a few drops of that in a carrier oil like olive oil or almond oil or apricot oil, something of that nature, and then use that to dress your candle. And as you are dressing your candle, you want to be pulling the energy towards you. This one is already loaded, that's what you're seeing there. So when you're dressing your candle, you're pulling that energy towards you and you're really thinking about focusing on envisioning and feeling that you're pulling the fire, you're pulling the vitality, you're pulling back your roar, you're pulling back your passion, you're pulling back your strength, your inner strength, right? And then after that, you, you're gonna wanna set it up on a fireproof plate 
And on that plate, I recommend that you place a few herbs or a few botanicals that are also aligned with the energies of fire. So you can place on that plate a couple of sticks of cinnamon or one whole piece of star anise, for example. I use star anise for mine, as well as some flower petals like sunflower petals would be a great choice for this. And then burn your candle, and as you are burning your candle, you're going to want to say a prayer for yourself and say a chant. So you'll pray to whoever you are comfortable praying to, whoever you have a relationship with. If you want to pray to your subconscious self, if you want to pray to your higher self, if you want to pray to God, if you want to pray to the universe, if you want to pray to the divine source of all, or if you want to pray to a goddess or a saint, it's all up to you. The point is you are talking with a power that is higher than your everyday self and that can assist you with really cultivating the characteristics, the feelings, the energies, the mindset that you need in order to get back to this place that you are seeking. When you pray to a divine source, the focus is to help you build the characteristics or achieve the change within yourself that is needed in order to bring forth change in your life and in your world. You're asking for spiritual support in cultivating the characteristics or the habits or the mindset or the energies within yourself in order to influence the change that you're seeking in your life. And after that, after your prayer, then you'll want to do some chanting. And I recommend that you do, I recommend that your prayer is from your heart and I recommend that your chant comes from something that you create yourself. And you can really just intuitively flow with this. You can start by chanting about fire. The fire is burning inside of me. The passion is burning inside of me. I see my fire growing. I feel my fire growing in my belly. I feel myself heating up. My intensity is strengthening, my strength is growing, my creativity is flowing, things of this nature, and let it just flow out of you until you get to a place where this chant turns into something that is very comfortable to you, very free-flowing, repetitive. Get into this, let it flow, get into almost an ecstatic state with your chant and repeat it until the, until the power raises to an extent that, um, that feels right to you and then you can let it go, release it into the universe. Okay, after that, all you need to do is know that your work is done, trust in it, have faith in it, let your candle fully extinguish with safety, keep an eye on it, and when your candle is fully extinguished, I recommend that you take some of the wax remnants as well as the botanicals that were placed with that candle and you put them in a charm bag for yourself. In my charm bag, I have the paper petition that I used in my candle spell. A paper petition is totally optional. You can add that if you would like. I have a piece of the beeswax candle that I burned. I have a crystal that I have a special affinity to, and I have the star anise that was a part of that candle spell. And when I was building my charm bag, I put some fiery oil on my hands, rub them together, hold the charm bag in my hands, direct some energy into it, raise some fiery energy within yourself or some passionate energy or some creative energy or some energy for self-love within yourself, channel it out of your hand and into the bag, and then focus on your fiery center of strength, your fiery center of confidence, your fiery center of self-love growing and flourishing. And when you feel that that is done, hold your charm bag against your belly and really spend some time envisioning and feeling the fire in your belly growing, growing, growing until it feels right to you and then know that your work is done, okay? Thank you so much. I hope this video is helpful for you. I wish you tons of blessings. I wish you strong fire in your belly. I wish you strong passion, creativity, and vitality. Many blessings.